So when Activision announced Infinite Warfare um, a couple months ago, a lot of people were hating on it. So many people were not liking it whatsoever. And so many people were hating on Activision as well, saying that they don't know how to make a good Call of Duty game anymore. Their franchise is dead. Um, but the question, the question here that I found very interesting was that what does make a good Call of Duty game? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. Now, if we're going to talk about good Call of Duty games, let's, why not, let's talk about the one Call of Duty game that everyone loves. And that would be Call of Duty Ghosts. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that one. No, I'm kidding. So let's talk about the actual one that a lot of people like or love. Let's talk about Call of Duty 4. 4. 4. Okay. So, let's talk about Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Why was that game so good? Well, for starters, it was set in recent times, like, like it was set in the present. Like, not in the future, like nowadays Call of Duties are. Um, it was just set in the present, and it had good characters. It had everything that a game should have. It has characters that you should care about. It has a good storyline, and it's very fun to play. I know this because I have a video, like an old video, of me and my brother playing Call of Duty 4 multiplayer. And believe me, that is a very fun game. But... One complaint that I've heard the most about for Call of Duty is the future. Because nowadays it seems like every Call of Duty game is set in the future, and that is something that is not good for the franchise. That's what's been killing the franchise. It doesn't belong in the future. It should stay in the present. And I agree. And as a matter of fact, I believe that is definitely something that could totally save the franchise, is that they went in a modern day direction, you know, like in the present, kind of like, um, well, kind of like they tried to do with this one, but we all know how that went, but sometimes the future isn't horrible for Call of Duty, I mean, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't, should it be there? No. Should Call of Duty be in space? No. I mean, yeah, I guess you got a point, that technically does kill the franchise a little, it's taking place in space they run out of ideas. But, let's talk about the one game that started this whole future thing. Let's talk about Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is the one that started the whole future thing. Now, I believe the first Black Ops took place in modern day. Like, it was a special ops type of style of game. I could be wrong, I could be right, I don't know. I haven't played the first one, I've only played this one. But I've heard that this one has started the this was the start of the whole future Call of Duty thing. And to be completely honest, even though this one was set in the future, it was still a good game. And a lot of people like this one. Which is weird because nowadays Call of Duty set in the future and not a whole lot of people like it, which is weird. But you know, I I've been thinking about this, and I understand this now. I understand why Call of Duty fans are not happy with Call of Duty being set in the future. And that is because, you know, it's not as fun in the future. Because the future is apparently, according to the franchise, it is very, very overpowered. Now, why do so many people want modern day Call of Duty back? Because it's more realistic, there's no jumping on buildings, there's no wall walking, there's no wall jumping, there's no jetpacks, there's no boost, you know, it's just, if you're modern day Call of Duty, you're on the ground always, at all times, and you're constantly having to be on the ground and have a ground firefight, you know, and that makes the gameplay more fun and challenging. That's why most people want Call of Duty back in now, 
a days. At least that's what I believe. Now, let's talk about the next thing that makes a good Call of Duty game. The next thing that made Call of Duty so good was the multiplayer. I mean, there's no arguing that. I mean, if Call of Duty didn't have any multiplayer, pretty sure it wouldn't be famous today. I'm pretty sure it would just be like another certain game that's called, um, do I really want to mention this? It's not very popular, but, <laughs> Destiny, okay, so, anyway, yes, the multiplayer is what made Call of Duty so successful, but here's the thing, you know, why would I be saying this if all Call of Duties have multiplayer? You know, they're not taking that out. Why am I talking about it? Well, here's the thing. This kind of brings me back to my point of bringing it into modern day style. You see, the future Call of Duties like Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, you know, since it's set in the future, it has all the, you know, the things I mentioned before. And that makes the Call of Duty multiplayer, online multiplayer, doesn't make it very challenging. It doesn't make it very competitive, you know, it just makes it easier for other people who don't necessarily want to, you know, compete, and it makes it, makes it easier for them to just be a jerk online, you know, that's what needs to happen, they need to make the Call of Duty multiplayer more competitive, which means skip the future crap, Skip the whole jetpacks and the rockets and the spaceships. And let's get back on the ground. Let's have ourselves a competitive Call of Duty multiplayer. I want that back so badly. Because, you know, at least with ghosts, you know, people consider ghosts to be one of the worst. I personally don't think it's the worst. It's not a good game, not a bad game. But the thing is, is that with ghosts, ghosts at least tried to have a competitive style of multiplayer. Yes, there are places where people can camp. Yes, that is annoying. But at least it has competitiveness within its multiplayer. Other games like Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, they don't have that. You know, people are constantly jumping around another boost pads and jumping all over the place trying to snipe people you know it's ridiculous so yes in my opinion in my opinion the things that make call of duty great what made call of duty so good was the competitive multiplayer and the fact that it was set in a modern time to make the whole game grounded and competitive that's what we need that's what we need right now so, if Activision decides to make a lot more realistic Call of Duty next year, if there even is a Call of Duty next year, considering the fact that this Call of Duty, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, is getting trashed beyond belief, even though I've heard that it has a good story mode, which I don't know for sure, I had not touched the game, but, you know, who knows, there probably will be, there probably will be a Call of Duty next year. And who knows, it'll probably be set in the future, because, you know, money, this stuff right here. Yeah. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think makes Call of Duty good? Because I just gave my opinion, and I want to hear your guys' opinion. Because I know a lot of my subscribers are Call of Duty fans, and I would like to hear your guys' opinion on what you guys think makes Call of Duty good. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Goodbye.